In this tutorial, I'll introduce you to WebPlus X5 and show you how to start a new site using one of the professionally designed theme layouts. When you open WebPlus, you'll be greeted with the Startup Wizard. Here you can start a new site from scratch or using a design template, access additional content, open recent projects, or view the tutorials. As I want to start from a design template, I just click the Use Design Template link. In the dialog, the templates are split into two categories. Theme Layout and Pro Templates. If I click one of the templates, you'll see the pages displayed on the right, complete with stock images. The theme layouts are more generic and have placeholder frames ready for you to add your own content. By default, all pages are selected. To exclude a page, just clear the checkbox. You can choose a colour scheme from the drop down list. The first three schemes are designed specifically for the template. The other schemes are available for any site that you might create. Notice that the preview pages update when you select the scheme. To start my new site, I click Open. The template opens in the centre of the workspace. The main toolbars are at the top and the left of the studio. To the left, we also have the textiles, fonts and how-to tabs. At the bottom, you'll see the quick builder and the media bar, and to the right are the main design and navigation tabs. You can hide or reveal these tabs at any time by clicking the In Out buttons. The Site tab displays the pages in the tree structure. The Eye icon tells you which page is currently on view, whereas the highlight colour indicates the currently selected page. A single click on a page entry selects it, and a double click selects and views it. I'll just zoom into the page a little. As you can see, the order of the navigation bar corresponds to the order in the Site tab. You'll also see that some of the page entries are a different colour and don't have a check mark. This tells us that they are not included in the main navigation. To exclude a page, right click on the page entry, click Page Properties and then clear the Include in Navigation checkbox. The page disappears from the navigation bar. You can also use the page properties to rename a page. Again, the navigation bar updates. If I preview the site in a window, you can see the changes in action. This preview also has the page locator that lets you get to any page in your site, even if it's not included in the navigation. Let's now add a picture to an empty frame. The media bar contains albums of stock images. You can also add your own. This makes it really easy to add a picture to a frame by drag and drop. You can edit the picture placement by using the picture control bar. This has options to replace a picture, zoom in or out, rotate your image and pan. If you change your mind, simply drag another picture onto the frame. Editing text is easy. Click and drag to select the text and then type in the replacement text. With the text selected, you can change the colour using the swatches or colour tab and the formatting using the text context toolbar. I can resize the text frame by dragging on the bounding box handles. To add extra pages, I simply expand the Add New Page drop-down, choose New Template Page, and select one from the dialog. The page is placed at the bottom of the Site tab. If I want to change this, I can either drag it into position, or use the buttons. Let's preview the site again. This time we'll preview in a browser. Notice that the navigation bar is updated to include my new page in a drop down menu. This reflects its position in the tree structure. Finally, I'll change my colour scheme again. On the swatches tab, I click the colour scheme designer button. I can now choose a different scheme and click load. All of the elements that use a colour scheme are updated. That's all for this tutorial. You can find out more about WebPlus in WebPlus Help, the How To tab, and our other online tutorials. 
Thanks for watching.